There's been quite a bit of talk online about how people would like the Switch to Linux, but they can since there aren't any good get packages for it. People would like to use something like SolidWorks or Inventor or Fusion, but those don't work on Linux. So I wanted to make this video showcasing the the get workflows that I have on Linux. So first of all, here's uh, Plasticity program that I'm using right now. Um, so what's unique about this is it's um, destructive workflow. So it's kind of like a mix between something like uh, Blender and, and your typical CAD program. And what's really neat about it, you, you can just start drawing in a 3D coordinate system. So it doesn't have the same sort of sketches like in SolidWorks or Inventor. <clears throat> and I'm just making a making an example model here, just free balling or free handing it. making a wheel rim sort of geometry just to show this uh, program off yeah um, so plasticity uses the same um, geometry kernel as SolidWorks under the hood so it's air solid and Usually when you think about Linux, you you, you would expect um, free and open source um, programs. And this is a commercial program. So, but this is the, uh, the cheapest, and this is the cheapest uh, parasolid modeler I've seen. And it's a, uh, a really good one. Uh, So it has, it also has a lot of like uh, surface modeling tools. So for here, example, the bridge curve, you can you can select the uh, continuation or the uh, is it G one, is it G two, G three? I think I'll go with the uh, the most basic G one here. Yeah. Let's join this by with J. Hold on, I didn't want to uh, join that that line with this. So let's join that again, and then offset it. Get the uh, bulk geometry. Let's make something like fifteen mil, or maybe maybe not that beefy. Maybe something like ten. Yeah, that looks good, I think. Let's join that. No, hold on. What I wanted to do is uh, join these again. Outer, the, uh, the actual outer bit of the wheel. Join that and then Offset to get a bit of thickness for it, like two mil. Yeah, I use this software for, for basically like single off things. And I'll show you another program in a bit, which I use for when I want something reusable. Let's revolve this. I I had the uh, I had that edge selected, so it was 
this revolving dot. Revolve. Now let's make the uh, spokes for the wheel. I thought of making something like this perhaps. Let's go to the innermost uh, edge here. Offset this. I like minus six. I, you probably can't see this too well as it's under under the wheel. I'll hide that wheel in a bit. Let's hide this so that it's a bit more visible. Then go like seven mil again. And Alt X to mirror this. Like that. Like all of this, and then do a radial ray. I want something tangential between these. So let's make a bridge curve here also. Bridge curve. like that and then radial ray that, that again let's show the uh the wheel again because i need the innermost edge that was that one right there so shift d to duplicate so it has the same sort of um shortcuts that are in Blender, or some of the some of the shortcuts are are the same as in Blender. And those seem to be aligned. These uh, that geometry there. So maybe I'll align this the, this circle with all of that. So I can extrude all of that then. GF, and then. Uh, constrain, constrain the the y axis by hitting y. And let's start extruding. Hold on. It it isn't. It still isn't um aligned with the with the other. So I'll I'll ha I still have to align both these two circles with this geometry. So. Again, hit Y to constrain it in the Y axis. Now we can do this. I'll have to. Oh yeah, it's not. I'll have to extend these. Maybe it's the quickest to uh, what's the quickest way to extend this? Hold on, I'll, I'll just I'll just draw a line like that, probably. And I'll just mirror mirror that and radio and radial ray again. I have to click on quite a lot of those uh, features here. Go like this. 
through the in both directions so something like 300 and then minus 300 get it to extrude in both directions and then let's show the original wheel again and then take this this and then the uh, original rim and then do an boolean intersection and There we go, sort of like a uh, wheel, sort of geometry. And as, as I was saying, uh, the um, with the destructive workflow, top-down modeling is really easy, as you can just shift the duplicate parts, you can move them around you can the placement of parts is really easy you can just uh, when you have a um, an object or a part um, select that you can GF pick like a, a center of a face and then place it at another center of a face Yeah. <clears throat> so about the reusable models. So another program, or should I say a library that I use quite a bit, is CatQuery. So CatQuery is a Python library that is built around the open cascade kernel. And this is completely free and open source software. And I'm using Blender here just as the uh, viewer. As you can desolate the models and send them over to Blender. And as we are using Python programming and a BREP kernel, you can take parametric modeling to another level, as you can make meaningful changes to the models with the parameters. So what do I mean by that? So here are the uh, parameters for this model. And what I've done here is I've made them into global variables, made the uh, parameters into global variables. And as of for the uh, meaningful changes, here's the uh, trust members uh, variable or parameter. And how this works is you've always got the uh, middle uh, trust member or the middle uh, vertical trust member. And besides that, you've got two other uh, vertical trust members. So that, that's the uh, two here. So let's change this to something like four. Now besides the, uh, the middle one, you've got four vertical trust members. And for the uh, meaningful changes, uh, let's change this to negative one. So I've set it up so that if you put negative one here, it leaves just the uh, topmost trust members here and it changes the uh, connector plates. So the connector plates right now, they're on the, uh, on the sides of this column. Let's see how this changes that. Now that the, uh, it leaves just the topmost uh, trust members, I've set it up so that it's at the uh, at the top of the column or at the end of the column connect the plate so that's what I mean by uh, meaningful changes and let's change that back to something like two and so for the uh, other parameters here the door height is this column height here and then you've got your width and your length and board members are the uh, boards on on the uh, on the top of the uh, trusses on a single side so eight on a single side so let's change that to something like maybe double it let's go with 16. so maybe that's a bit too much Let's go with something like 
12, I reckon. But yeah, when using when doing something reusable, the uh the modeling becomes really fast with this. So another pain point that people have or why people can't switch to something like plasticity or cat query is the technical drawings. So how could you make technical drawings with something like plasticity or cat query? Well, plasticity doesn't have the ability to make technical drawings and cat query has the ability to export like 2D views as DXFs or SVGs. But the workflow that I use is I export the uh, models as step files and open them in FreeCAD. So here's the uh, here's a model that I've made in plasticity, and FreeCAD has this drafts workbench. So in the drafts workbench, you'll first have to select the part, and then there's this option shape two D view. So what this able lets you do is make a make a 2d sketch from the point of view that that you're being viewing the uh, part from so now it made a 3d view but well, let's make a 2d view of this so rear and then let's select the part again and then shape 2d view and now we've got a 2D view from the rear of the um, model. And we can export this. So let's export it as something like re rear view. And I use QCAD as my 2D CAD. But you can use whatever LibreCAD or whatever uh, 2D CAD you want to use. Yeah, um, subscribe to my channel if you like this sort of content. I think that I'll start making uh, plasticity tutorial videos and cat query tutorial videos. So comment down below if, you, if you'd like to see something like that. And thanks for watching.